Advanced revenue management, reclassification of deferred revenue. All right, so that is 12.2. Sweet answer four nine two one nine. So let's go and have a look at that four nine two one nine. Run the reclassification journal entry process to reclassify deferred revenue for revenue arrangements. After your post your post month end revenue reclassification recognition journal entries, you must create deferred revenue reclassification journal entries each month to ensure accurate results in subsequent periods. For information about the required permissions, see month end processing. You can set up both revenue recognition journal entries and reclassification journal entries to run at scheduled times. I would suggest you do that. Um, I would even consider running it daily. That way you will always be up to date. Reclassification is cumulative, but the process runs only for arrangements that are mar marked as eligible in the selected posting period. A revenue arrangement must be compliant to be eligible for reclassification. Arrangements are eligible for reclassification in a period that the following transactions are created or resaved. Invoice or credit memo, cash sale or refund. Revenue arrangement, revenue recognition journal entry. When you create reclassification journal entries, you receive a warning if the current or prior periods have unapproved invoices or credit memos. The reclassification process excludes any approved, unapproved invoices and credit memos, so be sure to approve them first. The reclassification process isolates revenue arrangements that fail a step from further processing. Processing continues for the remaining revenue arrangements through journal entry creation. At the end of the reclassification process, the complete link on the status page opens the process the reclassification journal entries page. This page, page lists the complete, completed journal entries. The errors link on the status page opens a page that lists the revenue arrangements that failed. Failed revenue arrangements are available to resubmit. So go and see what the issues are and resubmit them. Right, be, best practice. Adhere to the following guidelines to ensure accurate results. If you use sweet script or sweet flow for journal entry approval routing, create a custom form for your system generated to reclassify reclassification journal entries. Then exclude the cust custom form from your workflows. Right? If the accounting preference require approvals on journal entries is checked, ensure that all journal entries related to revenue recognition <coughs> excuse me, are approved prior to reclassification. If, re if revenue recognition journal entries and prior period reclassification journal entries are not approved in advance, the reclassification adjustments will be incorrect. You can correct the adjustments by running reclassification again after all revenue recognition journal entries are approved. If you use the automated intercompany management feature, be sure to check eliminate intercompany transactions for all deferred revenue accounts used for reclassification. Avoid custom workflows that edit the system generated reclassification journal entries. These journal entries post in the subsidiary base currency. NetSuite permits these system-generated journal entries to link to foreign currency customers. However, you cannot link foreign currency customers to journal entries in the user interface unless the customer also uses the base currency. If the custom workflow edits the record, the system treats that edit link and edit in the user interface. As a result, foreign customers may be dropped from your journal entry. So it's really important that you note this. For detailed information about deferred revenue reclassification, see the following topics. All right, so I am going to go to NetSuite. And so let's go transactions, financial, schedule reclassification journal entries. If you, ha if you want to set up a schedule for them to run regularly or manually for now, you run now. All right, so we've got January 22. That's fine. UK is fine. All good. So there's three transactions. So let's go create journal entries. And there you can see it says 0%. So I'll refresh. I'll pause for a moment. All right, that took maybe another 20 seconds or so. And you can see 100% complete, no errors. Let's go look at complete. 
and, and there's our journal, journal 217. Alright, and there you can see there's your journal. Alright.